you're looking at a 1948 Massey Harris pony tractor. It's been sitting all winter, well probably since last November of 2010, and I got a problem with it. Over the winter, I didn't realize it, that the exhaust manifold, as you can see right there, that it had a leak in it. I didn't realize it. And water was seeping in. I didn't realize it. And now there's water in the engine, in the cylinder walls, and it formed rust. So, and it's really hard to turn the engine, as you can see right here with a hand crank. It's really hard to turn because of all that rust. Really hard to turn. So now we're going to see if we can fix it. I'm going to see if I can take the spark plugs out, throw some WD-40 in down in there, turn the engine and see what happens. As you can see, I already moved the coil out of its bracket so it's out of the way. And I got my supplies. A flathead screwdriver, an older style torque wrench with 7 8 flare nuts wrench, WD-40, and garage style paper towels. Now let's see if we can get the spark plugs off. Okay, spark plug wires are off. That wasn't that hard. Now, let's take the let's take the torque wrench, slip it over. It's got to find a little place to put it, and let's see what happens. Okay, I broke it loose. Now I'm gonna slip this off. It's gonna be a little tough. Yeah, there we go. And let's run it off. Ugh, a little hard to turn. Especially when it's sitting all winter without being touched. It's kind of a bad thing for engines. You shouldn't really be leaving them. Okay, spark plug's out. Ugh, that plug does not look good. Looks like I see some rust on it, so it means there's water. Yep, there's water. So let's see what we can do. Okay, well I got the four spark plugs out. Number one cylinder was not easy. It was the hardest to get to because of all the crap that's up front. But number three and number four were easiest. Well, I got them off. And I'm going to see what happens when I turn the engine. So, see if I can set the camera somewhere. It doesn't look like I can, but I'm just going to set it here. Okay, I'm going to turn the engine. It's a little easier, but there's rust, big time. <laughs> I know there's rust. So what I'm going to do now, take the WD-40 and spray it down the cylinders. Well, I'm not going to, I can't spray very much because our fluid locked the engine as I learned the hard way with another engine. So I'm going to spray some WD-40 down there. Okay, I'm going to get the WD-40. Jam's draw. Okay, well I got the WD-40 in. Okay, I'm going to turn the engine. I'm 
I'm gonna turn it a little bit, get some. Wow. That's much better. So now what we're gonna do is put the spark plugs back in and see how this thing cranks with compression. Okay, you're looking at the four spark plugs that I took out of the uh, that I took out of the tractor. Now, if you look closely, corrosion. That's not good. So what I'm going to do instead of buying new ones, I'm going to show you how to how to unfoul a spark plug only using this. <laughs> cool. Torches lit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to hold the corroded end up to the torch. Now, here I go. Got to hold it there for a few seconds. See if I can burn off the corrosion. It might not work. So, what I'm going to do? If this doesn't work. I have a few spare spark plugs that I can use. By the looks of this, it doesn't look like it's going to work. So what I'm going to do, I have four spare spark plugs. I'm just going to use them. Well, first of all, these are really crappy spark plugs. They were almost no good when I got the tractor. And I'm just going to use the the other ones I have. They're ten times better. Okay, these are the, the other spark plugs that I had off of my other engine. As you can see, they're ten times better than these ones. Especially because on this spark, on these spark plugs, the end's ten times better. It's not contaminated or anything. That's why I'm going to use them. Unlike these ones, rusting corrosion due to the water so these spark plugs are no good, I gotta throw them out. So I'm gonna slip these ones back in the engine and see what happens. Well, I'm back at the tractor. Now with the help of my torque wrench, my gloves, and the engine, I'm gonna get the spark plugs back in, starting with number four. Get it started. Okay, it's started. Let's do number three. Okay, that one started. Number two. Now it's going to be tougher to get these in. It's tough to reach this one because of all the spark plug wires. But once it's started, it's incredibly easy to get it in. Okay, it's in. Number one, the toughest cylinder to get to. Ugh. Come on. Um, got it. Now with the with the help of my torque wrench and my gloves, I'm gonna torque them down to 40 foot pounds. Okay, this, okay, all four spark plugs are back in. It wasn't that hard to get them in. Now time to see if this thing has good compression with by turning the hand crank to see if this thing has good compression before I go any farther. Here we go. Yep, got good compression. Now I can finish up by putting the spark plug wires on. Start with number four. You can tell by this the longest wire. Number three. Number two. And number one. Oh, gotta tighten up this little filament at the top. Spark plug wires are on. Now time to slip the coil back in. Almost there. Now time to tighten up the screw.
Okay, the job is done. One more final thing in the intake pipe. Slip it on. It's not such a bad thing to do, but should be doing it. Slip that on the bottom of the carb. Now it's time for the top part. Wiggle this thing a little bit more. A little bit more. Ugh. There. Okay, intake pipe is on. Now time for Now time for the flathead screwdriver and tighten down the pipe clamps. Now time for the bottom one. That's not that hard. A little hard to turn, but I'm gonna get it. My tractor is now completed. The job overall took about half an hour. That wasn't so hard. Now all I need is a quarter inch clapper for the exhaust, a good generator, and a six volt system. Yep, I'm gonna convert this thing back into factory condition. That's gonna be a lot of work. The engine's gonna be the hardest. But overall, this tractor's not that bad. Now I'm gonna slip a battery in, fix the carburetor, get a new sediment bowl, as you see there. This is a bad one. Get an either rebuild a carburetor or get a new carburetor. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Get a gasket for this plate. And then I'll be back to normal on this tractor. And I have to accurately time the engine. I need a timing light. A good friend of mine has one, I'll use his. So far it's rough timed, but it's okay. it's good enough for this thing. Okay, see ya, bye.